back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. So today is the big one. Chelsea v Tottenham Hotspur. I have just arrived at Fulham Broadway. So I'll be honest, I don't know what to expect today. I'm hoping for a Tottenham Hotspur win, obviously. But I've been here so many times and have been disappointed so many times. We've only won once here in Premier League history. And of course, that was four years ago. Back in 2018, when we beat them 3-1. That was one of the best days of my life supporting Spurs that day. So as I've already said, we have a dismal record here at Stamford Bridge and we have a pretty dismal record against Chelsea anyway um, in Premier League history. We've only beaten them seven times in 60 Premier League meetings since the Premier League started, of course, back in August 1992, 30 years ago. Um, of course, I'm hoping that Tottenham Hotspur get the win today, hoping and praying that we can have a, a good performance and get the points here. Um, we've started the Premier League season very well. We finished last season very well, of course, getting Champions League football for this season but the way that we demolished um, Southampton last week, um, unbelievable, unbelievable display. Um, and of course, Harry Kane and Hunmin Son didn't even get on the score sheet. Um, Chelsea won their fixture, their opening day fixture um, last week away at Everton at Goodison Park. It wasn't a convincing win, but still they got the three points. They are in transition at the moment. Antonio Conte is doing a fantastic job. I'm hoping for a great game and I'm hoping um, for the three points, obviously. Um, score prediction wise, I want to say a Spurs win, um, but I think my head um, actually is saying 1-1, but really hoping for the three points, really am. So I'm now a Spurs fan, Paul. Paul, how are you feeling ahead of this game? We have won once here in Premier League history. I've woken up this morning feeling very nervous. How are you feeling? I have to say, Chris, I'm feeling quite optimistic. The strength and depth that we've now got in our team, the heat today is unbelievable. The Five substitutions will play to our favour. Strength in depth from the bench. I can see us winning two or three nil today. Now, um, Sessegnon had a good game against Southampton last week. Um, a lot of people um, seem to expect that Perisic will come in. Starting. I think I think they should play Perisic. He's got the experience. I know he's 33 years old, but he's super, super fit, and I think he'll make such a difference down that left today. Um, score prediction. You're obviously confident. <laughs> I am. I, so look, I'm going to go 3 1. 3 1 to Tottenham. I think Kulachevsky will score, Harry, and it's Sunny. This is not a happy hunting ground for us, though, Paul, is it? Forget about past history. Look at what we've now got, Chris. Let's just be confident, right? I know we've only won once in God knows how many years, or I think once in the Premier League here, but I think we'll, we'll nail this today. You know, I was feeling really confident at the start of the week, thinking we'll go there and we'll win. Uh, we'll give them a good game. But this this is going to be very different. As Antonio Conte mm -hmm. said, we lost to Chelsea four times last season. Um, but this is yeah, a completely different team, isn't we it? We didn't have Romero playing at the back when we played here in January. Yep. Um, Kane wasn't on his game then. They're all on their game, Chris. They are super fit after an excellent pre-season. I'm uber confident about today. What are you expecting Spurs and Antonio Conte to deliver this season? Uh, at least a trophy. I would be amazed if we didn't win a trophy. Paul, thank you very much. Enjoy the game. Come on, you Spurs.
made into Stamford Bridge. It is an unchanged team. Same team that beat Southampton 4-1 last weekend. The players are just coming out to warm up. Come on, Tottenham, please. Three points today. Nineteen minutes gone. Oh, one nil. I was just going to say, Hugo Lloris made a great save. Went out for a corner, and Chelsea have just scored from the corner. Full of barley on the volley. So it's the water break, Chelsea 1, Tottenham Hotspur 0. Koulibaly's goal separates the two sides at the moment. He's just had another chance from another corner. Closest Tottenham have came is uh, Sessegnon going through one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, with the uh, goalkeeper Mendy saving. And it's half-time, Chelsea 1, Tottenham Hotspur 0. Chelsea have had 70% of possession in this first 45 minutes. So 57 minutes gone. Sessegnon coming off. And Richarlison coming on. So 61 minutes gone. Harry Kane has just missed a glorious chance for Tottenham dragged it wide but just moments before that Sterling could have put Chelsea 2-0 up and put it over the bar
time from the corner.